we're going to have a presentation by one of the people who has really done a great deal to make this happen today. Jeff from, from Hughes, Washington, has done yeoman's work. He's helped organize a lot of these, thing, these things. That, he's the man that, that is not in the spotlight, but he's done as much work as anybody here to make this happen today. We owe a great debt of gratitude to the efforts that Jeff has made. I'd like for Jeff to stand up here and give us a few words. Get out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't actually get a chance to answer the question. Let me move the fuse and move on and you name whatever groups. I wrote this and I'll pretty much just read it because it's probably the best way a couple days ago. First off, I'm a real person. My name's Jeff. Hi, a corporation, right? So for the last 40 years, gigantic corporations have systematically overtaken our government and decimated the American dream. Year by year, they have slowly crushed our economy and rolled back the protections of the people in this country and around the world. In the name of capitalism and profits for their shareholders, they have almost completely given up what it means to be moral, and they have forgotten what it has given them the fuel to feed their greedy ways. That fuel is money, but that money has to come from somewhere. It comes from you, the consumer, when you buy their products. It comes from the government in the form of tax breaks and subsidies for their operations. It comes from the communities in the form of our roads, bridges, and infrastructure. It comes from the workers in our educational system that teaches those workers. It comes from the security and the form of our police and fire departments. Now they have denounced many of these things that are necessary for them to even exist. Why would they want to get rid of the very elements of our society that help to fuel their capitalism? They claim we don't need consumer protections against the food and water safety and pollution. They claim we don't need taxes that help to pay for their transportation and lighting and protection. They claim we don't need unions or a basic public education to protect the workers. They claim we don't need the government except to protect us from buying anything but the except to protect us from anything but the boogeyman. So what we have ended up with for the last 40 years of this corporate takeover we have a corrupted political system where you barely have a voice anymore and the politicians can be bought and paid for by the highest bidder. We have a corrupted financial system where global multinational banksters expect capitalism when they make money and socialism when they are about to collapse. We have a corrupted food system where our food is totally processed and nearly unregulated and they can feed us genetically modified organisms and they don't even have to tell us that it has been designed in a laboratory. And now the corporations have claimed intimate domain over everything, including our inalienable constitutional rights. They claim a corporation is a person and has every protection written into the Constitution of the United States. What's next? They will claim the right to vote. So if you own 10 corporations, you get 10 votes. This sounds absurd and almost like a joke, but I'll bet somewhere these fools are talking about just this sort of thing. To be sure, the history of this country has never been has never been great when it comes to taking care of all of the people. If they lived here first, they don't matter. If they don't live here now, they don't matter. If they want to live here, they don't matter. You might ask, well, you can't take care of all the people. How can you possibly take care of all the people? And the answer is, you can't take care of all of them. They have to take care of themselves. But they expect, and they damn well should expect, that when you are part of this society and you make your contribution, no matter how small, you deserve to be respected and given the same resources that everyone else has to make a better life for yourself. So the moral of the story is, no matter who you are, whether you're a real person, a corporation, or the government, you need to respect your citizens and your fellow human beings, or bad things will happen. We have also learned that trickle-down capitalism actually means trickle-up socialism, which means the gigantic corporations expect to keep all the profits for themselves, but expect us to pay for all the problems. Well, I think that system is coming to an end, but the only way it can is by all of you demanding the change. So the change is up to you, 
support your local businesses, buy your food locally, get involved with your local government, take your money away from the corporate giants, and turn off your television and pick up a book. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you.